Hello everyone. In today's session, we are going to discuss about knowledge representation using frames. So frames are the extended version of your semantic nets. So each frame will have a collection of attributes or the slots representing the real world concepts. So what it works like an object oriented programming concept. So you have a lot of frames, and each frame will have a three important entity. One is the name given for a frame. The slots will be the attributes or the properties, and you have fillers. Pillars are nothing but the values that are substituted for each and every attributes. So, what exactly frames will do is like uh, we have we'll be having the collection of all frames related to a topic, and each frame will be inheriting the property of its parental uh, nodes, parental frames too. Okay, so I'll give you with an example. So here is an example for a frame, the frame of a frame for a car. So the name of the frame name is car, and the slots are the properties, right? Slots are the attributes or the properties. So here you have type, wheels, and fuel as the properties, and fillers are the values that are substituted for these attributes. So fillers consist of the type of car is it's a vehicle, and the number of wheels is four, and the fuel might be petrol or diesel. So these are all the values that are substituted for each and every uh, slots or the attributes. Okay. So this is the representation that we give. For For a single frame, and what exactly happens is like you have a lot of frames, and all the frames are connected in a hierarchical pattern, and the uh, children node will be inheriting the properties of the parental node. I'll give you an example. So here is an example for a vehicle, vehicle system. So the root node or the parental node is vehicle. So slot consists of certain attributes like category, number of wheels, uh, whether it is having an engine or not, and the value substituted for it. A vehicle is a category for transportation, and the number of wheels will be two or more, and uh, has engine. It some may have, some may not have. And there are two types of vehicles. One is two wheeler, four wheeler. For two wheeler, the category is two wheeler number of wheels is two has engine may or may not and we have cycle and bike cycle and bike are the type of is the type of well uh, two wheelers so here you have the frames and the relationship between the frames are denoted using the edges so edges connecting each and every frames denotes the relationship and what we do is like we inherit uh, like each and every frame inherits the property of the parental frames for example bike is it uh, comes under the category of transportation right it is taking the property of vehicle And it has an engine, and what is the speed? So it has its own specific attributes. Along with that, it will be inheriting the properties of the parental frames too. Okay, and similarly for four wheeler, uh, the slots are category number wheels, whether it is having engine or not. Four, uh, like it is a four wheeler category wheels. It has four has engine. Is all four wheelers will have a engine, and two types of uh, car is a vehicle, truck is a vehicle, whether it is having a uh, engine is. And the seating capacity is four to seven people, and uh, for truck load capacity it may vary. Okay, so the specific component may vary, and this denotes the knowledge representation of frames. So when I want to int, uh, like when I want to uh, communicate or check what is happening, when I want to find the inference out of uh, for any of the frame, I I'm just going to look into its path from the parental node to the present frame and i'm going to list out all the inferences that i have i'm going to get it from each and every frame okay so this is one important uh, way of representation knowledge representation in terms of frames okay thank you